Today we'll talk about the cost of living in Singapore whether you are single, married or married and have children. We will talk about all the factors where you will definitely spend like housing, food, transport and many more. We will also talk about the factors where you might spend basically the optional expenses like recreational activities or school fees if you have children and many more. But before I start discussing all these, please support the channel by subscribing and hitting the bell icon. Also, please like the video. Alright, let's begin. Let's start with the mandatory expenses first. Number one is accommodation. Major portion of the expense is covered by accommodation and this has a very wide range. It can be like from 200 to 5000 Singapore dollars. So let me give you a clear picture here. Here accommodation has multiple options to start with. Uh, there is a shared room option which can be like two people sharing or even up to six people sharing. So if six people are sharing, it can be as low as 200 or 250 Singapore dollars. But if uh, two people are sharing, it may be somewhere around 600, 700 Singapore dollars. Other options are like common room, master bedroom. A uh, common room can range somewhere around uh, 700 Singapore dollars while a master bedroom can cost somewhere around 1000 Singapore dollars. Then you may opt for a flat also like a complete flat uh, then it can be like a two bedroom, three bedroom or even more. Now this has again further options like uh, whether you'll go for an HDP or apartment or condominium. So it has wide ranges as I explained you earlier. Now the thing is if uh, to give you a fair idea, I can say for a two bedroom HDP flat, the cost may be around uh, 1500 to 2000 Singapore dollars. Uh, but if you actually want a clear picture, I will suggest you that you should watch the rental series that uh, I have already done in the previous videos. There we have discussed how to find the house and uh, what are the price ranges of uh, uh, different properties in different areas so that will definitely help you understand your cost of uh, living from the uh, accommodation perspective next i'll talk about the utilities so basically utilities are combination of uh, water electricity and gas so in this case i'll say it's consumption based it's uh, as much as you consume more is the bill uh, in Singapore, there is a company SP Utilities which provides all these and in that case you get a single bill also. Uh, but for gas, there are two options now like uh, either it's through gas pipeline, in that case it will be combined in this bill. Uh, and you can consider that the bill is somewhere around 120 to 200 Singapore dollars for a two bedroom house. But another thing is that for gas, you can opt for a cylinder also instead of a gas pipeline. And a gas cylinder is uh, around 35 Singapore dollars. So that is about the utilities. Next, I'll talk about food. In food, first I'll say that uh, if you are a person who eat mostly at home, then for you, the major cost of food is due to the groceries. And talking about the groceries for a family of uh, three to four people, uh, it's like around 200 to 400 Singapore dollars, which uh, majorly covers uh, vegetables, fruits, and uh, all the daily essentials. But if I talk about a bachelor who is usually not uh, very doing extensive cooking, so for an individual, it may be somewhere around. Uh, 50 Singapore dollars uh, it, it depends on uh, what all you basically purchase obviously but uh, if I talk about a person who is mostly eating outside then firstly for that person I'll say that Singapore is heaven for foodies here you can find from hawker centers to the best of international cuisines like uh, Chinese food Italian Thai, uh, Korean and all the western food so you will definitely enjoy being in Singapore now 
uh, I'll start with the hawker centers. Hawker centers are basically uh, open air food courts. So there you'll find multiple shops um, of different cuisines and um, just to first let you know that most of the Singaporeans uh, usually eat uh, in hawker centers on daily basis and uh, giving you an idea about cleanliness and hygiene also in Singapore for each shop there is a rating done by Singapore Food Agency uh, so this rating is something like A, B and C which you will see on all the shops and uh, A being the most clean and most hygienic uh, shop uh, with food provided there uh, and if I talk about the cost so as I said the um, hawker centers are uh, actually the budgeted meals so you can consider a uh, a local food in hawker center you may find somewhere around three dollars uh, and ranging to ten dollars or maybe even fifteen dollars um, so it depends on the cuisine that you select and what you order next is uh, mid-priced family restaurants which are obviously not something where people are eating uh, daily so there to give you an idea per person uh, bill comes out to be around 20 to 50 Singapore dollars depending on the restaurant that you are going to Another option in food is luxury fine dining This uh, is very less visited, but still this is an option which people definitely go once in a while and uh, To give you an idea per person it can start somewhere from 100 Singapore dollars and uh, above it can range to anything but if I give, talk about the cost of living from food perspective, then actually it's a mix of all the options that uh, I just now discussed with you. Uh, people will be cooking at home, they'll be going out for budgeted meals also, for family restaurants also and for fine dining also. So depending on your lifestyle, your likes and dislikes, you can do a rough calculation for yourself. Next, uh, I'll talk about internet and communications. Uh, definitely, we all want to stay connected with friends, family and uh, the outside world also. Uh, there are uh, various operators like uh, Singtel, Starhub, M1 and uh, many more. First, I'll talk about the mobile connection. So, for mobile connection with internet, usually the price on monthly basis can be somewhere around 20 to 30 Singapore dollars where you get the, the calls and the internet also actually in Singapore there is a concept of uh, incoming calls which are charged so you need to check out your plans accordingly with free incoming calls free SMSs but you will uh, be able to manage with uh, 20 to 30 Singapore dollars next I talk about the Wi-Fi there is a contract so you can opt for no contract also but that will be an expensive option and then there can be like one year contract two year contract and more so more the duration of the contract less is the price so it can range somewhere like 30 to 50 Singapore dollars uh, based on the contract that you opt for third is cable charges so if you want to get this cable installed for your TV then uh, it's a nominal fee with 30 to 50 Singapore dollars per month. Next, I'll talk about is uh, transport. First thing is that in Singapore, public transport is uh, really very well connected and it's cheap also. There are options like uh, bus, MRT, taxis. Uh, bus and MRT which you will be using mainly for your daily commute and since it's comfortable also by ride range is around one dollar to three Singapore dollars which is like really very less and so if I take out an average monthly basis your cost will come somewhere around 80 to 100 Singapore dollars next in some days you will need taxis also in Singapore it's sometimes raining very heavily and uh, maybe for you it's uh, difficult to opt for the MRT in such case and then you can definitely go for 
public taxis which are easily available there are a lot of taxi stands here and there are different operators for taxis so not difficult to find like uh, comfort telcro grab taxi uh, go check and many more i will leave the links for these also to make it very convenient for you a uh, next mandatory expense that i'll talk about is a tax this may sound like uh, how can tax be a mandatory expense but just imagine if you are earning then definitely you will be paying something towards tax also to the government and you should not neglect this part i'll say you should always calculate your tax while calculating the cost of living for yourself in case if you want to know how much will be the tax for you so there are uh, many different criteria whether you are resident non resident for this there is a separate video which i have already covered i will leave the link in the description below you will be clearly able to understand what will be your tax and i have also explained in that video how you can get tax rebates up to 80000 singapore dollars so just have a look at that it will really help you in calculating your cost of living so all that was about the mandatory expenses next we'll talk about the optional expenses first is child care and education the cost of this factor depends on for the age of the children or the number of children you have so first i'll talk about the infant care infant care is for babies uh, up to 18 months old and uh, for them the fees is around 1500 to 3000 singapore dollars and the fees that i am talking about is applicable for foreigners so next i'll talk about child care uh child care is from 18 months to 36 months old to baby 3 years old so for them the fees ranges from uh, 1200 to 2500 singapore dollars next i'll talk about the schools here the fees further varies depending on the class that your child goes to so it can range uh, somewhere from uh, 1500 singapore dollars to 4000 singapore dollars per month it uh, basically depends on the curriculum that you opt for for your child uh, there are multiple international school options available like uh, australian school uh, canadian school japanese school and even indian international schools So if you understand the child care and education that I talked about uh, one thing is that yes this is definitely expensive in Singapore and in fact for those uh, people to whom it is a mandatory expense I'll say that your major portion of expense will go towards this education system also other than the accommodation next I'll talk about the medical So this is again an optional expense because this is not what you regularly spend on but in case if you need if you are sick then you should be aware of what will be the cost in this case uh here i'll first say that mostly it is covered by employers in the sense there is an insurance provided and in that insurance there are uh, visits covered for uh, general practitioners that is called as gps here but uh, for those people who have their dependents also like your wife if not working and your child so in that case you should know that a gp visit cost approximately from 30 to 50 singapore dollars per visit so the next thing here is specialist visits so how it goes is first you go to a gp and if you're not satisfied there or your problem is not resolved there then you are recommended to a specialist by a gp in that case for them the fees can go from 300 to 500 singapore dollars next optional expense that i'll talk about is recreational activities Uh, this uh, definitely depends on individuals interest and uh, their lifestyle so what it covers is like uh, movies can cost uh, somewhere around 10 to 15 singapore dollars per person per movie uh, depending on uh, whether it's a 3d movie whether you are going on weekdays or weekends a uh, multiple factors come in place uh, next uh, i'll talk about the clubbing 
So usually the entry ticket for clubs here is mostly around 30 to 50 Singapore dollars uh, which even includes the free drinks uh, that you may get and over and above it's obviously your expense how much you want to eat how much you want to drink then another part in uh, recreational activities that i'll talk about is gym gym membership is uh, somewhere around 100 to 200 singapore dollars so that is all about the recreational activities like this there can be many more like tourist attractions so some tourist attractions are free like merlion and some may be expensive also like universal studios where the ticket is around 60 to 70 singapore dollars but uh, that was all about the uh, expenses that i have discussed with you the mandatory expenses and the optional expenses and i'm very sure that now you must have got a very good idea of the cost of living in Singapore for yourself and you will be able to calculate your cost of living exactly by adding up the values from different categories. Still, if you have any questions, then please write them in the comment section below. If you need one-to-one -one consultation, then please reach out to us on Instagram or our Facebook page. Please like the video, do share it with your friends and family members. Please support the channel by subscribing and hitting the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.